know your stats. Sharing a soup, should open that little banana tree, and then it gets you married or finna abuse. It was like it's hot and I fave in your glitch, and you're open with that. Send the shielders down, get flush her if it was a vessel, we'll open smooth fun, and it's head and reef in that. You know, we're if such a serial hot, even your exit was a very hot and sit. Stay tuned. I've been honored to be your radio host for the evening. As our year comes to an end, it makes me think of time. The way it moves forwards most of the time. Meh, the first slope. And on rare occasions, like the patron elevator incident, or in the beginning of quarantine, when many of us were truly stuck at home, it moves backwards. So, I... Listeners, can you hear that? It seems like there's something wrong with my microphone. What is that? I don't understand. Bear with me, listeners, while I try to figure out what's going on. I know it's... Oh. In not-so-local news, strange monoliths have been popping up just about everywhere. I'm sure it can't possibly mean anything, just an odd art project. I really don't expect any further news about them, but I suppose time will tell. Well, listeners, we're quickly coming up on election season. I, for one, am very excited. Although many of us aren't particularly fond of either candidate, I think seeing the debate between a weathered scarecrow and an old tabby cat will certainly be interesting. It brings up so many questions, like, does the cat walk on two legs or four? Does it matter? Does the scarecrow smile or frown? Does it matter? Does the cat eat canned food or dry food for dinner? Does it matter? Well, of course it matters. Cats, as we all know, should get two servings of canned pineapple a day. Otherwise, they become irritable and therefore dangerous. Feed your cats canned pineapple brand fruits. After all, you wouldn't want to risk an angry cat-related incident now, would you? Cats can be extremely dangerous when not properly fed. Why, I myself had a cousin who forgot to feed her cat on time, and some people say you can do that once or twice and live to tell the tale, but dear cousin Jean would still be with us today had she just remembered the canned pineapple. The last half of this report has been brought to you by... Spam. For when you're hungry, but all you crave is salt. October alert. October alert. It is now October. The veil between the living and dead has been lifted. Secure your home and draw a salt line on your doorstep. If anyone you do not recognize asks to enter your home, it is not safe to grant them entry at this time. October this year will last approximately 31 days. The strongest paranormal activity will occur in the last days of the month, with increasing incidence as Halloween approaches. Temperatures will decrease as Halloween approaches. Ensure small animals are not possessed before bringing them indoors. Spirits will become visible to the living and may become agitated. Do not approach spirits or images of the deceased. It is now October. October alert. October alert. must be the hottest day of the year. The sun is beating down on my studio window and everything seems covered in a layer of sticky, warm sweat. Sweltering is an understatement. At which point do I start fearing for my life? How hot is it right now? I don't think I'd believe you if you said anything less than 100 degrees. You see, Arkansas in August is always this way. The heat is always near unbearable. How are all of you out there coping with it? Today's a fantastic day to sip on some ice-cold lemonade or find yourself sitting in a cool body of water, man-made or natural, until your fingers are pruny and the gravity above water feels impossible to navigate. 
Perhaps soon, September will bring us relief from the scorching sunbeams of summer. Well, listeners, as of this broadcast today, the pandemic's effect on Arkansas has been ongoing for three months. How naive we seemed in March, hoping we'd be inside for two, maybe three or four weeks. But surely, it cannot last much longer now. As we come into the hot summer, it surely cannot be much longer now. And you know, despite how grim things have seemed, I do find myself enjoying some aspects of the situation, even if it is truly dire for many people involved. I've learned to cook, had time to spend with my cat, I've studied, learned, spoken. I felt, with all of you, the bittersweet relief of the halting of the 40-hour work and school week. And I dread the creaking groans of the cogs in this economic machine as we bring it, screaming, to a start again. All in all, I know we will be all right, listeners, if we can just hold on just a little longer. Oh, listeners, how I loathe April Fool's Day. I'd wish you a happy one, but I simply do not wish to be happy on this dreadful day. Last year on this day, I awoke to find a note from Elizabeth, the weather specialist at the station, which said, I'm inside your house right now. Naturally, that was a little frightening. I nearly phoned the police. But then I remembered the date, and I flipped the note over to find she'd lovingly written, Just kidding, April Fools. Or is it? On the back. I always feel that the real fool involved, my loyal listeners, is myself. Sometimes I find myself far too gullible, ready to believe the first thing I hear. After all, when I speak to all of you, it is always 100% truthful fact, every single time without fail. Which is why you can know I'm being honest without a doubt when I tell you that what you are about to hear is most definitely... the weather. the order that we honor that would say. You know, listeners, I've never been a particularly superstitious man, but something about this day feels a bit... foreboding. It is, after all, Friday the 13th. One may try to say that it's simple superstitious paranoia taking over, but something about it just feels a bit sour. It seems that perhaps, this particular Friday the 13th, the coronavirus may be the featured antagonist. It was announced yesterday that the schools in several central Arkansas counties will close due to the virus, which is completely unprecedented in modern history. I cannot recall a time in which the schools have closed on this large of a scale. But you know, despite how bleak this may look, despite what may or may not be ahead of us, I refuse to lose hope. 
We are a wonderful, friendly, and thriving city. And with that, I can see the traffic is full. As 1918 comes to an end, the people of the city hope there will also be an end to the influenza pandemic to which many of our fellow citizens have succumbed. In local news, we are in the midst of a harsh and unforgiving winter. Are you prepared to heat and cool your home in the absence of natural gas? This week, many Arkansans suffered through the bitter cold after a gas line beneath the mighty Arkansas River broke, causing a week-long citywide outage. Which leads me to today's sponsor. Every home should be prepared to heat and cook with wood or coal on short notice. Come to our store, look over our lines of stoves, and buy a good, substantial stove, and always be ready for no gas. Combination gas, wood, and coal ranges are the best we know of. Have something you can cook on that will also heat the room. I am listeners in my humble studio on this, the first day of the roaring 2020s. After the 2019 we had, I think the entire population is hopeful and excited for what's to come. As the sun starts to set, I too find myself full of hope. Who knows what this next year could bring? No, really. Who knows what this next year could bring? We'd like to ask any and all psychics to please come to the studio as soon as possible. We've seen some strange stuff in the stars, and we don't like it. With that, I'd like to thank you for lending me your ear for the evening. It's been an honor to be your radio host for the evening, and as always... For the life of me, I can't figure out... Oh, oh, are we, are we on air? Is the mic... Ah, oh, thanks, the radio gods. I think we're live once again. Thank you for your patience, listeners. As it turns out, it seems like my microphone was simply not plugged into my computer or my equipment at all. Imagine if it hadn't been plugged in this entire year. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Wait a minute. What does this button do? I've never seen this here before. Oh, wow. That is some extremely clear audio. Wow. That sounds simply amazing. Have we been without this clarity the entire time? Why, we must have sounded like we were broadcasting from the 1930s or something. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is anyone there? Oh, there you are. Listeners, our computer here shows someone managed to overtake the signal from our station and broadcast their own content. It's odd, because normally we'd be able to track that kind of thing, but all it showed was it coming from this exact room. Which doesn't make any sense, because I've just been sitting here waiting for my system to come back on for the last half hour, so you shouldn't have been hearing anything from me. Well, whatever you heard, I hope it was at least pleasant. Although it should have simply been silence, I hope it was pleasant silence. It certainly feels like my entire day has gone to waste. But being in that strange little break between Christmas and New Year, I suppose that's to be expected. Well, no matter the circumstances, I truly hope we have a fantastic 2021. We deserve it. Good afternoon, listeners. You'll hear from me again next year. 